Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cake. We are making Shopkins cake. This is Dennis Pet. It's a new character from season five and I thought it would be really fun to make this adorable character. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. This video is also part of a larger Shopkins collaboration. Yay to all of the Shopkins fans. Be sure to check out how to make all of these treats links are going to be posted down below and you can also click on individual images and it will take you to that tutorial so now on to the dennis bed i baked my pound cake in a 9 by 13 inch cake pan i'm trimming the top and i'm also going to trim the bottom you can reserve the cake to make the cake pops just stick it in the freezer and use it when you are ready I'm also going to tort the cake so we'll have two cake layers. Then take a paper template and cut out the shape. Notice that my cake is slightly bigger than my actual template. I realized that the handle on my template was a little too narrow. So I wanted it to be a bit wider, so that's why I cut it out slightly bigger. Now I'm brushing some simple syrup on my cake. Simple syrup is basically just sugar and water boiled together, cooled, and uh, I also like to add some vanilla extract with almond and lemon extract to my simple syrup. I'm using Swiss buttercream. You can uh, find a recipe to Swiss buttercream that I like to use on my blog. I'm including a link to this recipe down below in the description box. Using a plate as a template and a sharp knife, I'm going about quarter inch deep into the cake and I'm going to remove the cake from this area. to spread a thin layer of buttercream on the whole cake. Once you're done crumb coating your cake, you're gonna have to stick this into the fridge until the buttercream firms up and then you can place your cake onto a cake board. I'm using marshmallow fondant to decorate the cake. So first I'm going to cover it with white fondant. To make the strings, I'm going to use clay extruder and white fondant. I love this tool. I've used it so many times. It's so useful for different things. You can get different profiles in it, different discs, and it gives you different shapes. You can uh, check out the link where you can get this tool down below in a description box under the section called tools used in this video.
Now I'm going to make a long snake out of pink fondant and we're gonna flatten it and I'm going to cover the sides of the racket. Use a little bit of water and moisten the white fondant so the pink fondant sticks to it and it's not gonna slide down. To cover the top, I made another long strip out of pink fondant and I'm going to cover up the top. Now to make the throat of the racket, I used a pink fondant and I cut it on an angle. Use a fondant tool or a toothpick to create texture on pink fondant. Now we're gonna make the handle using yellow fondant. Use a little bit of water for glue. And then trim off the excess with scissors or exacto knife. Cut out two white rounds and then two smaller black rounds. Use a little bit of water to glue the pieces together. For the reflection, form a small white 
ball and then flatten it and stick it onto the black. Make the nose out of white fondant. For the lips, I colored my fondant with red food coloring. Take some blue fondant and shape it into a ball. This will be the tennis ball. And then use fondant that you shaped into sausages for the arms. Use a little bit of water to stick the arms onto the cake. If needed, you can support it with some plastic wrap. To make the legs, shape pink fondant into a large ball and then cut it in half. And also I have a question for all of you Shopkins fans. I would like to know if the tennis ball is supposed to be blue or white. Because I got really confused guys I was looking online and then all the images had the tennis ball blue but then I was reading and it said it's white so is it blue or is it white let me know in the comment section down below To make the eyelashes, use black fondant and shape it between your fingers and then using a little bit of water, glue these onto the cake. Now shape a longer snake and make the eyebrows. And that's how you can make this adorable and super easy Shopkins cake. I hope you guys enjoyed my Dennis Bad Cake video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And don't forget to visit the rest of this adorable Shopkins collaboration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.